All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sea of Stars. We are kicking off right where we left off in the last video. I got me some snacks here, something to drink, some water, and some barbecue chips. So if you hear me chewing, I apologize. But I'm having a light lunch so that I can have a big dinner, you know? But let us move on. You know, these pipes remind me of uh, Dream Core. What is this? A valve. Um, no. All right, we can at least stop one of you, though. But we can't stop even getting at least one clone, huh? I didn't even see my health. That's not gonna do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She has a move that can do it. Yeah. Unfortunate. Let's get him out of here. Not good. We just need a uh, old dude to wake up. It's over. What? All right, fine. Girl, you got plenty of health. Get in here and fight, boy. Not today. Not today. All right. Now we can use Mending Light. What? There's no way I missed that. Thirteen hundred is still a good experience, though. Um, I can't get in there yet. I can, however, get over here. So I guess the only other option to take is going through here. Interesting. So now I guess we're going to a different location. A 
Okay, so that should allow us to get the orb. Which I'm assuming will shrink everything down. And then we can get the second valve. But we still can't open that area or this area. Leaving me to question exactly where I'm assuming I'm about to say, I guess we got to put the pearl back so that we can go back in here. No, wait. Oh, well. I saw a treasure and missed it. leads to a third path. And that removes that. Okay. Let's see what's in here. So I'm guessing now I must I must backtrack. And that I must take this orb. Wait, so how do I, um, how do I unlock this? I guess it will remain to be seen. We're back here. I mean, is that what I was supposed to do? No? What, 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 what is there? Okay, so I put the blue pearl in here, and then it... Oh, okay. I didn't see this at first. So let's see where this takes us. A save spot. I don't suppose we could have camped, nope. The energy from this door feels odd. I bet the big mystery we're supposed to find is right behind it. No handles. Can't push it open either. And it's not resonating with that innate magic. Maybe we're just supposed to not? If that works, Garl, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Oh, we're back here with the Immortal. Their efforts in the tower proved valiant, but alas, as fate would have it, when these events first occurred, the mysterious door remained firmly shut. Despite their best efforts in the face of this, of this setback, our heroes were unable to reach Mesa Island in time, and the Dweller of Strife turned into a world eater. 
They fought ever so bravely, but in the end, their lives and their world were lost. Thus we arrive at the crux of tonight's musing, a single question. How far might they go should fate be given a nudge, and the door that once sat closed were to be opened? Let us find out. Wait, so the door was leading to him? Come in. The door was leading to him the whole time? What is this place? It smells musty. Good evening, and welcome to the Great Archives. Please excuse the mess. I tend to get absorbed in my work. Wait, are you really? Titles are for stories and myths. Please call me Rashan. Rashan. That's even cooler than Extol. Wait, so you're the immortal alchemist? I suppose so. Unreal. Alchemist, sir, we please call me Rashad. I see. Hold on, let me get some chips. The man said, "Call me Rashad." So why are y'all still calling him Alchemist? What is wrong with you? Rashawn, this is really unexpected. Yeah, we... Can't you just fix all this then? Unfortunately, no. I'm bound by a very strict code. There are no words to express the suffering that would ensure... Ensue... Were I to take matters into my own hands. Worse than a dweller turning into a world eater? Not to minimize, but you must understand that in the grand scheme of things, your reality is simply one of many. By fixing your realm, I would unleash a for a foral's wrath on countless others. That is unacceptable. Who's that? My former associate. Where you people where you people called me the immortal alchemist, they refer to them as the flesh man. What? Your former associate was the flesh. Is the flesh man, sir? Is he hiding somewhere here too? Your world is safe, at least in this regard. A foral left a long time ago. Should he learn of my presence here, however, we take him on. He's nothing but a loser. Now it appears time is of the essence. We need to get onto Mesa Island. Can you help? I might, but first we must determine whether or not you can help yourselves. We know how to fight. Of course you do, but this matter is about whether you truly are who I am hoping you are. For now, I would send you to a remote location where encased in the ice lies a long lost artifact. What kind of artifact? I will say no more at this time. If letting you in here was the, the proper course of action, its power will call to you. This portal leads to where it went forgotten. Recover the artifact, then I shall entertain this plan of yours. And I'm just watching from the rafters, huh? So he was the previous glacial peak. He was previously with the flesh mancer, huh? That is interesting.
okay, this music ain't half bad. And the music doesn't stop when we get into combat. Wait. Now let's see. I'm assuming fire will hurt someone on Glacial Island, right? And did some pretty good damage. Nice. And they give 1200 experience. Interesting. Ooh, a treasure. Music sheet number five. Oh wait, there's somebody else. A DJ? block that though. We need to get him out of here. What? It's okay, it's okay. Don't panic, don't panic. Okay, panic, panic. Panic. We have to use Garl here. We can't use Garl here. Wait, she should work too. There we go. Ow! Okay, hold up, boy. Uh, we definitely need to nourish. And let me show you how that feels, boy. Some fire. That didn't do anything. You know what? Mending light. Why not? Swap, swap. Unfortunate. How much health he had? Eight? Never mind. We got him. Almost two thousand. Um, we have nothing to turn the... We don't have anything to turn them with.
not two of you. We have to stop you somehow. Perfect. Yeah, we gotta, we definitely gotta stop this attack. And now we can disorient you. Forcing you to have to wait. You're still not dead? I'm about to say, boy, just die. Unfortunate. Oh, we have combos. Perfect. Yeah, swap out, swap out, Garl. Mending light. That takes care of you. Nothing we can do there. Wait, can we like break? No? I figured maybe we could break these black things with the ice blocks, but that does not appear to be the case. Wait a minute now. Okay, I like, that don't sound too bad. That don't sound too bad at all. That's a pretty cool beat. Unfortunate. I tried to block. There we go. Ow. Who's attacking Garl? Go ahead and end him. Or at least break his concentration. Garl's dead. Wait a minute, no he's not. Um, Garl? Oh, he can't attack. over. Oh wait, he's still alive? Alright, since he's still alive, let's go ahead and give him some HP. If I hadn't blocked that, he'd be dead though. Ow! Alright, girl, get out of here, bro. Let me, let, let, let me back in here. Wait. Um, I'm going to risk something here. I'm going to risk something here. And my risk failed. My risk failed. Yep, Gara's down. I figured it would kill these little snowballs, but 
You did not. Twenty five hundred experience. All right, so. We don't want to give anything that will I don't want to give anything that will um that's meant for the whole party. So I can't break that. Well, I'm not going back that way. Gotcha. Oh, it's just three of you now, huh? Let's see how you like my sunball. I'm about to say, I just gotta get the timing right, that's all. Take you out of here. Break that concentration. And that's the end of you. There's a safe spot down there. And a campfire. Anything over here? No. How about I say, can we go through here? Is it? I guess the only other option is to jump down. Ah, okay. We gotta get Garo some help. Yeah, he's almost dead. Uh, go ahead and nourish. Get a sandwich or something, boy. Why is he getting to attack before, I mean, in between everyone's attack? He's getting to attack more than once. First, let's rest up. I guess we'll make them the hardest too. Save up. Unfortunately, I can't push it any further than this. Not the Akatsuki again! However you did it, you are foolish for showing up here. Foolish and, con and cornered too. Your friends already tried acting tough. Didn't you get their support report? My, they truly are feisty. Feisty and arrogant too. Come then. Oh no. 
I have no way to counter that at all. I have no way to counter that. I can try, but... Alright, so the only other thing I can think to do here is swap in Sarai and hope to disorient. Okay. Ow! We need somebody to attack. But the problem is... Wait, wait, wait. Can she... We need... We need... Okay, this will work. This will work. Yeah, this will work. Oh, no it won't! We were so close. Oh well, let's just get... Let's, let's, let's just do an attack anyway. Totem. Forty six. That was a lot of damage. It's been my experience in RPGs when you have two people like this. It's best to focus one down. I'll choose to focus down this guy. Number two. Let's get plenty of live mana out, just in case. I knew it. So we only need one, but you have to land the second hit. Nice. All right, so you swap, well, we don't need to swap out. I forgot, you can do Mending Light without him being in the party. Never mind, that swaps him into the party. You all by yourself now, boy. You all by yourself now. What you gonna do? Ow! Let's get a soul to strike in here. That did absolutely nothing. Oh man, I missed the cube. Ultimate? What is the... Uh, when did that show up? Ultimate attack? Oh, I forgot about this. What? That is pretty cool! Ah! You 
got lucky. Next time we will win. Huh. Huh. Win and celebrate too. I wonder if I should call them the Akatsuki or the Illuminati. And don't come back. We're close. I can feel it. Let's do this. Yeah, these guys didn't seem, they seem like, I don't, I don't want to speak out of turn, but they kind of seem like pushovers right now. Oh well, looks like we ain't going back that way. No! We can't use this thing. Solstice Amulet. So much energy. It's the same kind of power as... How do we get out of here? This block could be melted, but the Celestial Rune is busted. You can now control the time of day with right trigger and left trigger without needing to stand on a celestial room. Ah, whoa, so you can just do that at will now? The ambulance resonance, resonance with our magic is really strong. We got what we needed. Let's go back to Rashan. Nice. But will it melt this? Ah, it melts this too? Nice. What's the point in melting these two things though? Oh. Nice. So where does that lead us? Let's rest up. Save up. And I think we can probably... Let's see where we're at on time. We got some time, we got some time. Oh, okay, so maybe, yeah, pushing this here. Will allow us to grab you a signet of clarity. Skills cost one less MP. So I'm gonna give that to Garl. Since he doesn't have anything right now.
I was about to say, what exactly is this gonna do? But this will knock this out of the way. Oh wait, wait! No, no, there's, there's a... What? Oh. There's a chest in there. Melt that right quick. I like the daytime version of this thing better. Sapphire orb, okay. There's something else in this thing over here. Garl and Sarai learned the combo skill item roulette. Mm. I don't know how useful that is. Roulette is never really a good thing, you know? Sean. We got the item you requested. Make sure there isn't anything over here. Oh. We got the item you requested, bro. So what next? You have returned. Congratulations. Will you help us get to Mesa Island now? You were just there a few moments ago. What do you mean? Huh? Is this the way then? We just go back and hike down the mountain? Hiking Glacier Peak on foot? Only an animal would do that. Don't feel bad, Valerie. He, he, look, these people are speaking in riddles, man. Look, just tell us what we need to do. And if you're not going to tell us what we need to do, tell us you're not going to tell us when we can go on about our way, man. Will you accept one final challenge? If you succeed, I promise I will help. We're in a hurry. You said, I know, I know, hear me out. The only way to remove the barrier is to wake the giant stone here. I can make the potion for you, but brew brewing it requires centuries of whatever that is. Centuries? That's useless. That is why I need you to recover my personal alchemy bottle, the vial of time. Within it, I can control time itself. Bring it back to me and I will prepare what you need in, more, in mere seconds. No way. Alright, where can we find your vial of time? The Fleshmancer hid it somewhere on Watcher Island a long time ago. All I know for certain is that the giant statue from which the island got its name is the key. How can you be sure? The Fleshmancer's tricks always involve big statues. Eventually I figured he would have to stop it you have to stop if I ever, if I never recovered my vial. But here we are in need of it. This is ridiculous. Call it what you will, but I recommend you take this task seriously, for it will be very trying. Sure, whatever. We're ready. Then go to the northern part of Watcher Island and perform the cleansing of Torment Peak. Cleansing? There's a dweller that here? Of course, it may be just a prank. 
but Flesh Master played it himself. But without their powers augmented by... Yes? That's what the Solstice Amulet is really for, isn't it? Precisely. It may be old, but its magic has yet to fade. Face the Dweller of Torment with conviction and the amulet will resonate. The power to conjure an eclipse? All right, we can do it. I mean, if if Brugaves and Elena can create a blood moon, why can't we create an eclipse? Torment, torment Peak afflicts the mind in devilish ways, but you deserve a fighting chance here. Go on, drink. What is it? One dose of tethered mind potion for each of you. Come on now, bottoms up. I don't feel any different. And thanks to this potion, you will be able to say the same after spending time in that wicked place. I thought you couldn't help directly. It is but a little nudge. N surely... This can stay between us. Thanks, Rashawn. We'll be back with the Vial of Time. Feel free to use this portal of quick travel between here and Lake Lake Dakaria. I will be watching. Good luck. Wow. So he knows the Flesh Master personally. Oh, so that's where that other part is. Okay. Have you ever had a taste bring back a memory? Like when I'm eating this chips, it brings back a memory of when we were out for the summer and I was playing um, Zelda 2 Adventures of Link on the NES. It just brought back that memory for some reason weird all right so i guess we're heading to torment peak which is where they told us to avoid but there's actually a dweller here so brugues and them could have been right in that you know there is there was no evidence that you know there was no uh, no more dwellers. Turns out there is another dweller. So I'm guessing we gotta push these in here. Remember, guys, this is a dweller, so he's going to be hard. No turning back now. Right behind you. Let's go ahead and save up now. Should I die, you know? What kind of monster? A sleuth. Zero? Alright. We'll try magic then. Oh, wow. You know what? Give me some of that solstice magic. Wait, 
why does Garl not do as much damage to them? And they give a lot of experience too. We about to level up again. Yeah, this place, I, can, I, I see how this place could drive someone crazy. Look at these guys. You know what? Nobody's scared. Nobody's scared. How about you take one of these sun balls? Wow. Flesh shield. I completely forgot about Valerie's shield attack. I mean, shield. You gave him two shields? How, how noble of you to die for his sake. I'm taking it, uh, the shield makes you invulnerable, right? Ow! Girl, nourish. Wait a minute, this is a dweller. So can Girl actually, oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Can Garl actually fight these guys? Wait a minute. So does that mean I can actually resonate other crystals? Okay. resonate these two I'm about to say I couldn't see who you guys were for a second but the sun ball is gonna make sure you guys pay I don't even know what you did but oh wait there's another Three hundred and six. Ow. And he uses flesh shield on himself. That's all right, Garl. This is your time to uh, heal um, Valerie. We can get rid of the shield. Nice, level up. Okay, so he's getting MP, he's getting a huge boost to magic attack. Oh no, he's getting a boost to magic attack, but not a huge boost. Um Let's give you a magic defense an increase. You are getting everything. I can't give you attack, though, unfortunately. But I can give you magic attack, so let's give you that. Valerie needs magic attack. And I can't give it to her. She has good attack and defense and good magic defense, but not good. Her magic attack is falling off. Garl, I don't really need to give him magic attack. Everything looks good for him, so I'm just going to give him some more HP. I mean, I can barely see in front of me. But lighting these crystals are kind of helping. Oh, 
Unfortunate. Man, that's a lot of damage. And you gave him a flesh shield? I couldn't block it in time. Um, let's get rid of you. I gotta get the hang of it. I gotta get the hang of it. This should end you. Thirty-three on block is just crazy. No, I meant to get magic without magic. Or some live mana. That's weird how let me see how much damage he does. Yeah, like I guess that's comes from the fact that Garl is not a solstice warrior. These things are kind of lighting the way for us here. One notch down. I'm about to say, so how do we get to the other side? Second notch down. I don't like where this is going. I don't think we're ready to fight the flesh master just yet. I mean, uh, I don't think we're ready to fight the, uh, uh, Dweller of Torment yet. Man, we can't combo. I guess we'll have to try and hit all of you. I mean, that did a lot of damage, but you still didn't kill. Let me swap you out for her. Maybe she does a lot more damage. So then she's not a solstice warrior either then. That's so weird. This place looks terrible. Hold on, what is that up there? Sunball should do some damage. Four hundred and eighty damage, in fact. You know what? Disorient him. 
and then I should be able to do the final blow. Nice. The more I light up, look at this. The more I light up, the creepier this place looks. Okay, so if this is the path to go, what's down there then? Rainbow conch. This is why I like to explore because you don't know what you might find in here. But yeah, the more I like these crystals, the less I like this place. But I can't lose my nerve. I can't lose my nerve. Unfortunate. Oh, he just used a flesh shield. Okay. Nope. Nope. Well, semi nope. You know what? Moonering. Nice. And that still didn't finish you off? That did though. Not sure what that did, but again, I'm not gonna falter. I'm not gonna be like Moraine. not gonna be like Moraine I'm gonna see this through to the end and I don't intend on dying a green leaf max HP plus 15 um I don't think that Sarai has anything right oh she does have something I don't know of anyone who needs this. What what item does she have? Increased bonus. Increases bonus from timing hits and blocks by 10%. Magic attack plus 5. Yeah, so we don't really need that right now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna falter even though this place is starting to look more like aliens oh boy uh Zell? yes are you seeing a bunch of furry little butts I thought those were eyes yep Hello, ma'am. Baby gorilla. Wow, you all look so healthy. Is that a sword? Hey, you're like this other. You're like this other guy. He could shoot tiny little sons. He said he'd save our mom, and then he left instead. So rude. Don't be so. Don't be rude, son boy. What is going on here? Exactly. Can we keep one? Man, shut up, Zell. Zell. What happened to your mom? She's down below. We love her so much. She says we can't go and see her because of the monster. 
so we just stare at her from up here. She's so pretty. We used to run around the island. I miss the clouds. Do clouds still exist? Hey, it sounds like they're talking about the Gorilla Matriarch. But Teak said all divine spirits have been destroyed by the flesh master long ago. The headmaster mentioned this too, though. He said they were either destroyed or harvested. So the cubs are food for the dweller. How did our order not stop this? We just put a seal on the mountain and pretend like nothing happened? Hey, it's rude to just talk between yourselves. Don't do this. We will help your mom and get you all back outside. Really? That would be awesome. We could run around the island again. Or maybe they'll never return. Like our siblings. I think they're eaten by the, they were eaten by the monster. I think they found a nicer room and don't want to share. Not sharing is rude. We will return. You have our word. Let's end this madness. Well... We'll try and return, but, you know, we can't just give ourselves a guarantee without knowing, you know, the, the, the truth of the matter. I mean, we don't know what's down there. What's this? Wait, they said... They said the monster was down though, right? Yeah, this looks like where we've already been. What? Well, in that case, this is definitely just a shortcut. Let's move on. I got a little bit more time. Oh no. Gorilla Matriarch, you really are alive. We should not have come. The evil of this place is too vile to confront even for solstice warriors. What happened to you? I was subjected to the flesh master's final affront on this to this world. Before leaving, he placed the seed of evil in the depths of this mountain and bound me here so that my cubs would remain in close proximity. This guy. I am cursed to watch helplessly as they walk before me on the way to the devout to be devoured by the growing dweller of torment and with their innocent minds so easily controlled my pleas always go unheard what a terrible fate how do we know how do we not know about this Zell will you stop being like stop being dumb boy they knew about it come on now you think Moraine Moraine ran from the dweller of strife you think he didn't know about the Dweller of Torment? Look, he got scud and decided, hey, we, we can't beat this, let's go. Surely those who came before would have reported on the presence of a divine spirit, let alone a dweller. It's all connected to the curse of this place. It was devised to be the perfect lair. Memories formed within the mountain belong to it forever. Solstice warriors came, but whoever, whenever they left, they get reinforcements. I mean, to get reinforcements, they would remember nothing other than a crippling sense of dread. All they could do was seal the mountain and never return. So sorry. There isn't much that can be that could have been done even if they did prepare a cleansing. 
We are so deep within the layer that light from the eclipse would never touch the dweller to make it vulnerable. There has to be a way. Your duty to the world at large is paramount. Please seal the mountain again and go. Zell and I will fight. No sitting around this time. I'm fighting too. Okay, so the tethered mind potion keeps our memory safe, but that that's useless for the fight. And the solstice amulet should resonate with the dweller, but the light from the eclipse will never get in here. I have a plan. Just go and trigger the eclipse. Sarai has left the party. Okay, no turning back now. Well, I think we're going to end the video here. Let me see how much time we have left. Let's just see what this guy is worth. Let's see what this guy is, is, is capable of. We might get wiped out instantly, so if I do, I'll definitely end the video at that point. It's a monkey. It is a club. A cub. Oh, I see how it's a monkey now. I, I, I couldn't see it before. Hey there, little guy. I want to see my mom. She's just over there. Come, we will, we'll take you to her. I feel she is this way. I think you lie. Please come with us. We talked to her and she is very worried. Why do you lie? I want to see my mom. Leave me alone. Wait. Why don't you try us for lunch instead, you creep? You know what, Garl? He is, and he's going to eat us all, you stupid idiot. You're not a solstice warrior. Oh, it's a wrap. The amulet reacted. I, I can feel the eclipse. Sarai, whatever you're planning, please make it quick. Heads up. We don't have Sarai either. It's over. You see what you did? You moron. Zero effect. You know what? There is something we can do about this, though. Now let's create some uh, zero on them, too, eh? Sonic Pain. Um, that hurts. Maybe some Solstice Magic? Nope. We need you to attack so that we can uh, get your MP back. It's useless. We need more light. Make way. Sorry, I'm late. Right on, sir. Let's take this thing down. Ow. Right on, let's go. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Let's start off with Moonerang and see what that does. Okay, that did some pretty significant damage. Um, Garl, you know what? I actually think we should save the combo for later. Pressure cooker.
Um, who's who's here? Uh, all right, go nourish. I missed it again. But how? Uh, give me this. You know what? We should not waste combos though. We got some combos let's use it. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Ow! You know what? These arms have been getting worked over. So we, we, we should be able to end them soon. Let's see what you do against him. Not much. I mean, his animations are kind of weird. I can't track him. We got to get rid of one of these arms. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, we might be able to stop this with Solstice Strike. Perfect. Ultimate attack. Light him up. The right arm is still alive. Um, let's see here. We'll use a dash strike. All right, Garl, get in here. We need you to heal Zell. All right, we'll do one more attack to get some more live mana out here. All right. Okay, we got one arm out of the way. We need another combo. There we go. Mending light. What? That's all that did? Girl, I'm disappointed in you. What? Alright, uh, Sunball. We got both arms down. You know what? Now's the chance. Moon Arang, because it's just him. Five hundred. Perfect. Um, get out, get out, get out. Backstab. That did nothing. I can't sunball anymore. You can still moonerang though. Let's get another one in there. All right. Nah, we'll save the ultimate. Get some more live mana out here. What? Use it. Use it. Ultimate.
so they, they have 2500 HP. And the boss is not taking any damage right now. I tried blocking. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. We can stop this, we can stop this. Now have you attack. Now Sarai, it is up to you. You have to hit this on the nose. No, you missed! Oh well. Wow, we blocked. That was a good block. Um. I don't know what really... Okay, so... Yeah, in order to hurt him, we need to get his arms down. So, let's just focus on that. We know the arms have 2,000 HP. And that did some pretty big damage. But he's about to die. Okay, we got a combo here. What's item roulette? Draw picks a random item for a special effect. You know what? Let's just see what this does. An anvil? You know what? That was a waste of combo points. We have to use Souls to Strike here. Alright. No. You do not get to do that. You just do a regular attack. Let us take care of striking with... Yeah, see, that does a lot of damage. Unfortunate. But I think we can... I think we can still do this. We can stop him, I believe. Uh, disorient. Now we need you to strike. You take the green and strike again. Perfect. Now, back to this guy. What kind of combos can we throw? What's, what's Soonerang? Let's, let's see what Soonerang can do. Nice. All right, all right. Not good, not good. You know what? Well, throw our ultimate out there again. Right, right arm is down. Um, who, okay, we need to attack the left arm now. All right, he's down. He's down. Uh, we need combo attacks though. 
I don't want to. I, I, I want Soonerang, but I don't have it. So, Moonerang it is. Alright, um. Let's get a sunball in here. Um, and you bring out more uh, live mana. You got enough for another moon ring. Let's use it. Still wasn't enough to take him out. Twenty-one, twenty-five. He's back in the game. All right. Let's see if we can't disorient, which will give us enough time to, you know, well, we got to build up to it first. I wonder if I, you know what? I'm not going to do that actually. Ouch. Um, Darl, we need you to nourish. And let me see. I guess you can use this. Um, now Garl, get out of here. Wait a minute. Moon ring. Oh no, he's getting ready to attack. And she doesn't have disorient. Not good. You know what? There's only one thing we can do then. There's only one thing we can do. We gotta do it. No! Oh man, I didn't think about it. I forgot about her shield again. Um, but you know what? Let me see, where is it at? 12 MP? Sonic Pain. We need to get Moon Rang up. I mean, Soon Rang up. We still don't have enough. Okay, he's attacking again. That wasn't enough? Enough. Should we mend it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't have to mend it like Luna Shield. Luna Shield. Perfect. Yeah, that didn't do much damage to us at all. Um, should we try X Strike? No, soon ring, soon ring. Let's go. Why? Unfortunate.
Just get some more live mana out here. All right, one hand is down. Um, I don't know how much Venom Flurry will actually do. I was pressing A, I guess I just... We need that combo, we need that combo. I have a feeling the first time one of us falls is a wrap. Mending light, mending light. Get some more live men on the board. All right, we got him down. Um, I wish I had enough for Soon Ring, but I don't. So we're going with Moon Ring. Moon Ring. Nice. We got him. Now we need to destroy this core immediately. We did it. Good thinking, Sarai. Now to destroy the core. Yes, destroy it. Don't be like Brugave and Arliza. Ready to go free the matriarch? You bet. I see how they're monkeys now. I couldn't see it before, but I see how they're monkeys now. You owe us nothing, Matriarch. Oh, but it's the least I can do. Fixing the Watcher will only take a moment, and its prism is how you will find what you're looking for. Mom, can we go run around the island now? Certainly, my dear. In fact, we must run to the Watcher right now. Mom, can we go swimming now? First we must go to the Watcher, then we can go to the water. Watcher water. Hey, how fast can you say Watcher water? Well, well you see Moraine, if we could take him out, the Dweller of Strife shouldn't be too bad, right? So the Watcher's Prism is the key. Let's see here. Use left trigger and right trigger on the world map to unveil the secret area. No other secret areas? You know what? Yeah, let's set up camp. Because we are, we are over time. We are over time. I don't think you have any new stories to tell, right? Wait, you found a new artifact? Which artifact did I find? Yeah. The Nomads of the Sea. I guess we can end the video on her story of the Nomads of the Sea. It was like a dream. No one believed it at first that their seemingly eternal journey could finally be over. Why them? And with the current oracle of tides being so young, who could confirm the long-awaited discovery? But in their heart of hearts they knew. Before them, appearing even more vividly than in their visions, stood the tower of Ant Sudlo. Ant Sudlo. 
And so it was that the nomads of the sea, who had traversed abyssal plains since time immemorial, would settle at long last. Having reached their promised land, they started building next to the tower. In Dakari village, generations would come and go, each following the guidance of their respective oracle of tides. Since that day, they have been the guardians of Ant, Ant Sudlo, waiting for their des those destined to open its gate. In this new era, memories of their nomadic days live on in classic tales, retelling the deeds of great explorers and formidable warriors. The most popular by far is the Battle of Fates, Guilt. A story with so many versions, it may very well be just a myth. To the best of their ability, historians have pieced together hints from various retellings of the battle. Some even in some even dedicating their lives to the subject. It is generally accepted as fact that the Dakari almost, I mean, yeah, almost went extinct while crossing the territory of a gigantic sea slug. What happened next is a matter of much debate depending on the interpretation of key passages and the credibility of certain sources. Some claim that the Battle of Fates guilt never happened. Dismissing it as a fabrication meant to scare off would-be pillagers of ancient Dakari treasure. This theory is mostly seen as a stretch on the uh, some historians how it, say that the giant sea slug was defeated when the Dakari made their last stand on a flat top sea, sea mount, giving the story its title. For others, the scriptures about sunken ruins are simply too consistent to be ignored. According to this version of events, the nomads sealed the, mo the monster away when they realized they couldn't defeat it. The key was then split into three equal parts, each waiting somewhere in the deep blue for future heroes brave enough to rid the world of that threat, of this threat. The end. You know what I've never understood about stuff like that? Um, let me see. I, I do need to cook some stuff. What I never understood about stuff like that is... If you are not strong enough to kill the monster, how are you then strong enough to create something to seal it away? I, I, I never understood that. But let's rest up. And that's going to be the end of the video. Wait a minute, I didn't get to save. That's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it so far. We managed to take out and see, this is why I can't stand the fact that Meringue just quit on us. Because we managed to beat a Dweller. You know, I mean, I get it. The Dweller of Strife almost eliminated everyone. But, I mean, you can't see we're a different breed. We're definitely stronger than Brugaze and Erliza at this age. So, you know, we should be able to do something about that. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, you guys know what to do. Stay blessed.